We're following developing news out of Decatur County where a human skull has been discovered. Now this is very close to the initial area that investigators search for Holly Bobo. News Channel 5's Deja Knight is at TBI headquarters this morning with the latest. And Deja, so far there's no confirmed connection to the Holly Bobo case, right? Amy, that is right, but investigators, they are not ruling it out as a possibility. Really, we just have to wait to the re till we get the results from the DNA testing being done at a Memphis TBI location right now. Two men found that skull yesterday. Officials say they were walking through a heavily wooded area looking for herb ginseng. When they made that discovery, the skull was apparently not buried, just sitting on top of some brush in a heavily wooded area in Holiday. Now, yesterday's search was less than six miles away from Zach Adams' home, one of the men accused of killing and kidnapping Holly Bobo. That search started six months ago after a long lull in the investigation. It also led to the arrest of Zach Adams and Jason Autry. Again, so far, the remains have not been identified. We're told that there are two people missing in Decatur County. Of course, Holly Bobo being one of them, that skull, like we said, at a TBI crime lab in Memphis, forensic special, forensic specialist, rather. They will have an answer to who those uh, remains belong to, hopefully within the next few days. We're live at TBI Deja Night News Channel 5 HD. And two other men are also facing charges in connection to Holly's disappearance. Stepbrothers Jeff and Mark Piercy are both charged with accessory after the fact and tampering with evidence. They're accused of having a video showing Holly alive after she'd been kidnapped. Both men deny the charges and a third man could be charged. Shane Austin had an immunity deal with prosecutors, but they say he was not cooperative and they want that deal thrown out. We are waiting for a circuit court judge to make that ruling. And of course, we're continuing to follow the latest. We'll bring you updates as we get them both on air and online on newschannel5.com.